after five killed in newsroom shooting, reporter vows to press on. We are putting out a damn paper tomorrow updated June 28, 2018. Amid the horror of Thursday's mass shooting inside a Maryland newsroom that killed five people and gravely injured others, the journalists did their jobs. Phil Davis, the crime reporter for the Capital Gazette in Annapolis, dove for cover when the gunfire erupted after 3 p.m. soon after, he began tweeting about the violence in his office. Gunmen shot through the glass door to the office and opened fire on multiple employees. Can't say much more and don't want to declare anyone dead, but it's bad, he wrote. Gunmen shot through the glass door to the office and opened fire on multiple employees. Canon number 39 semicolon T say much more and Donna and number 39 semicolon T want to declare anyone dead, but it and number 39 semicolon S bad. Phil Davis at Phil Davis underscore CG, June 28, 2018 Soon after, the newspaper posted an article on its website about the shooting in its office, which authorities estimated injured three people in addition to the fatal victims. Davis was interviewed in the article, saying the shooting was like a war zone. Jimmy DeButts, an editor for the newspaper, tweeted he was devastated and heartbroken. Numb, he wrote. Praising the work of the staff, he continued, just know at Copgas news reporters and editors give all they have every day. There are no 40-hour weeks, no big paydays, just a passion for telling stories from our community. Devastated and heartbroken. Numb. Please stop asking for information, interviews. I'm in no position to speak, just know at Copgas news reporters and editors give all they have every day. There are no 40-hour weeks, no big paydays, just a passion for telling stories from our community. Jimmy the Butts, at JD3217, June 28, 2018 Chase Cook, a reporter for the paper who wasn't in the office at the time of the shooting, tweeted that he was devastated. Cook added that while there are still many unknowns about the shooting, I can tell you this, we are putting out a damn paper tomorrow. I can tell you this, we are putting out a damn paper tomorrow. Chase Cook, at Chase Cook, June 28, 2018 The lone suspect was identified only as a white male, and he is in custody, authorities said. He is not cooperating with investigators, he has refused to identify himself and has no identification on him, and police have no information about his motive. Police were called at about 3.15 p.m. They confronted the suspect within 60 to 90 seconds, authorities said and apprehended the suspect without exchanging gunfire. Authorities said the suspect used a long gun. Ann Arundel Deputy Police Chief Bill Kramp said authorities recovered what they thought may have been explosive devices, but the devices were taken care of and that they don't anticipate having any more explosive devices. In news footage, people were seen evacuating the building with their hands up. Authorities said that about 170 people evacuated the building. Speaking about the response by authorities, Annapolis Mayor Gavin Buckley said at a press conference, if they were not there as quickly as they did, it could have been a lot worse. 